What the fuck is up? Welcome back. My name is Noah Hills. You can find me on Twitter at Noah More Parties. And it's welcome back for me because I've been gone for a couple weeks. Uh, took a week off. Been sick the last couple days. Getting over it now. You can tell probably that I'm a little stuffed up. But I'm here because it's week one. And it's Thursday night. We got Thursday night football. Bills versus Rams. And I'm here to deliver five prop bets for tonight. You can parlay them on the Prize Picks app. As part of their flex play, you got to hit three out of five to win some money back. You get 0.4x if you put 10 bucks down, you get $4 back. If you get four out of five, you double your money. And if you get five out of five right, you 10x your money. That's what we're shooting for here. <laughs> The first of these is Matt Gay, 1.5 field goals made tonight. I'm hitting the over. Gay hit that number in 12 out of 17 games for the Rams last year. He hit that number in 7 out of 8 home games. The Rams are at home tonight. And he hit that in 11 out of 11 games last season in which the Rams scored at least 26 points. The over-under for Bill's Rams tonight is 53 and a half points, or at least it was at the time of this recording. And based on the point spread, that means the Rams implied total is 25 and a half points. If they hit that over, games like that last season, Matt Gay was hitting two field goals every single time. He also hit two or more field goals in three out of five losses last year. Since Sean McVay took over in LA in 2017, the Rams are 24th in the league in fourth down go rate in neutral game script situations. So this is not an aggressive dude on fourth down who's gonna go for it he he's he takes the points he takes the field goals Matt Gay is probably gonna have some opportunities tonight he's an 86% career field goal kicker last season he made 94% of his kicks I love him to score at least two field goals tonight the next is Daryl Henderson, 27 and a half rushing yards. I'm smashing the over. Rams running backs averaged 91.6 rushing yards per game last season. And in games in which the Rams scored at least 26 points, like they're implied to tonight, they averaged 99.6 yards from their running backs. And in losses, they averaged 95.6 rushing yards from their running backs. The combined over under on prize picks right now for Akers and Henderson is 71 yards. Cam Akers' line is 43 and a half. We got 27 and a half for Daryl Henderson. That would be a huge step back from where they were in all those different game situations last season. 20 yards less than the average per game last year is what these guys are, are projected by prize picks to combine for tonight. And I'm not sure the evidence supports that Akers is going to have like 60% more production this season, even early on, than Daryl Henderson should. These guys have both been dealing with soft tissue injuries, both of them supposedly healthy. And every time Sean McVay talks about Cam Akers, he throws in Daryl Henderson's name as well. I would imagine this is a pretty even split, which gives us the very low numbers on these lines combined with the fact that Henderson's number is so much lower than Akers's gives us quite a bit of wiggle room, I think, quite a bit of margin for error with this bet. I love Daryl Henderson to go over 27.5 rushing yards tonight. Next is Cooper Cup, 0.5 receiving touchdowns. I'm hitting the over. He averaged 0.9 touchdowns per game last season, almost a touchdown per game. He scored in 11 out of 17 games. He scored in 8 out of 11 games in which the Rams scored at least 26. And he's really the only skill position guy in LA right now who doesn't have some sort of question mark surrounding him. Like, Allen Robinson was bad last year on a bad team. We think he's still good, but like there's this possibility that he's washed. Like who knows how he acclimates to this new team. Cam Akers and Daryl Henderson have been dealing with injuries. Who knows what their health looks like? Who knows what the workload looks like? Like Cooper Cup was the most productive receiver pretty much in NFL history last season. He's the best player on this offense. If they're going to score, Cooper Cup's probably going to score. We're betting on a good player who's going to be a focal point of this offense in what should be a high scoring game between two quality teams. Next is Josh Allen, 0.5 interceptions. I'm taking the over. Just like Cooper Cup with touchdowns, Josh Allen averaged 0.9 interceptions per game last season. He threw a pick in 10 out of 17 games. He threw a pick in 7 out of 10 games in which the Bills scored at least 28 points, which is their implied total tonight. He threw a pick in 6 out of 8 away games. He averaged a pick per away game last year. He's a YOLO ball quarterback. He's a great quarterback, but he, he, he likes to chuck it. He likes to take risks, and that's part of what makes him great. But he's also conducive to throwing interceptions that way. And the Rams were fourth in the NFL with 19 interceptions on defense last season. This is two good offenses. Should be putting up points. Lots of pass attempts equals opportunities for interceptions. I like Josh Allen to throw a pick tonight. And then Gabe Davis is the last prop bet here. 
part of this 5x5 five five flex play. Over 56 and a half receiving yards. We got Jalen Ramsey lining up on Stephon Diggs on the other side. And then Gabe, Gabe Davis is probably facing dudes that are really nothing to write home about. And last season, the most productive non-Stephon Diggs wide receiver for the Bills. If you go like week one, other than Diggs, who was their top receiver? Week two, other than Diggs, who was their top receiver? We knew that throughout the season, the most productive non-Diggs wide receiver averaged 75.8 receiving yards per game in Buffalo last season and hit this 56 and a half receiving yards line, hit the over in 12 out of 17 games a year ago. Gabe Davis had the seventh highest average depth of target in the entire league in 2020 and had the eighth highest average depth of target in the entire league in 2021. He's a deep ball receiver with a deep ball quarterback facing blah corners in a game with two good offenses. I love him to get at least 56 and a half receiving yards tonight. And I got two honorable mentions for you. If you're feeling iffy about Cooper Cup catching a touchdown or Josh Allen throwing a pick or whatever, maybe you like Matthew Stafford 265.5 passing yards. I'm taking the over on that. He averaged 287.4 per game in 2021. He averaged 298 in games in which the Rams scored at least 26. He averaged 271.4 in games in which the Rams lost. Any way you slice it, he was hitting this over last season on a consistent basis. 12 out of 17 games overall, 3 out of 5 losses, 9 out of 11 games in which the Rams scored 26 plus. He was hitting this over. The Bills are a tough defense and there's some questions about like Matthew Stafford's the health of his arm, which is why I didn't include him in my in my main 5, but I do think there's going to be enough offense in this game that Matthew Stafford will be able to hit this over. And the last one is Devin Singletary, 14.5 receiving yards. I like him to go under this. He averaged 13.4 receiving yards per game in 2021 in games in which the Bills scored 28 plus. Their implied total tonight, he averaged 8.9 receiving yards per game. He went over this line in just 2 out of 10 of those games. He went over this line in just 6 of 17 games overall. This team added James Cook in the draft. I don't know what his role looks like early on. Maybe not huge, but Devin Singletary wasn't dealing with him last season and he still wasn't hitting this line. And the Bills looked at this running back situation and and said, we need to get some somebody in here who can catch the ball well. That's not Devin Singletary. Josh Allen is more of a scrambler than he is a checkdown guy. I like Devin Singletary to go under 14.5 receiving yards tonight. Let's make some money. Uh, pro tip, Price Picks right now has the passing yards line for Tom Brady at 0.5 yards right now. If Tom Brady passes for a single yard, he counts towards your, your flex play parlays here. Throw Tom Brady in with four of these Thursday night bets. Make some money. Come back next week. Make some more. Deuces. Deuces. <laughs>